Juneteenth, apology accepted. Apology accepted. Talking about Juneteenth all week long. And today, let's delve a little deeper into this whole understanding of Juneteenth. And today, I want to talk about apology accepted. Apology accepted. Now, on yesterday, we dealt with uh, the whole trauma of slavery. I want you to grab that. Please check that out. And the previous day, uh, we talked a little bit about the whole history of it and brought that whole piece up and talked about reparations. Reparations um, and then uh, the trauma of slavery. This morning, I want to drill even further into it, and I hope this is blessing you. If it's blessing you, then put it, put it in the chat area. And make sure you share it. Let's talk about apology accepted. Before we get into that, just want to greet a couple of people. Good morning, Lena. Good morning, Angela. How are you all on this morning? You're probably wondering, so Bishop, now where were you and First Lady on the midweek morning prayer? Well, First Lady is still recovering, taking some time off, and um, you know what? I, I, it's just no way I can just come without First Lady for prayer because uh, I know that's who y'all really want to see anyhow. So, you know, I'm just an aside. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but no, seriously, seriously, I open up the prayer with a song uh, from Tasha Cobbs and uh, talking about uh, the favor of God. And, um, and I knew that if I had done that on Facebook, uh, live, they would have cut it out. So uh, check out that prayer. They're gonna post it. Uh, they're gonna post it. Uh, at least the verbal part of it. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Brenda. How are you all on this morning? Good morning, Early. How are, how are you guys on this morning? So look, um, uh, I want you to know this. I want you to know this um, that uh, I really want to get this down into your spirits about Juneteenth and the connections and the explanation and how we look at these things through the prism of scripture. Now, this is where you got to help me. You got to help me with this because uh, when I put uh, Juneteenth and those kinds of things, slavery in the um, uh, in the Facebook live little uh, title, then Facebook suppresses that. Uh, they see that, uh, believe it or not, it's probably some hate speech so they suppress it. Their algorithms or whomever uh, then kind of keeps that from being shared. So I need you to really share and share again. Come back and share it another time. Tell others to do it if you really want that word out. Because uh, you believe it or not, all the hate speech out there now, all the hate stuff, racism stuff out there now, you would never think that they would try to uh, suppress a conversation about Juneteenth. Well, that's how they roll. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. This morning, apology accepted Juneteenth. Here is part three of what we've been dealing with all week long. The text to talk and the takeaway, five minutes or less. Here we go. Matthew 18, 21, Peter talking to Jesus. And so this is what Peter says. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive a brother or a sister who sins against me. How many times? How, how long should this go on? How long should this go on? Well, here's what we oftentimes hear when with respect to conversations about slavery and the past. We always say, why don't you just get over it? Black people, African Americans, former the children of slaves, get over it, move on, forgive. Well, can't get there until I get an apology. And when you apologize, I'll accept it. Here we go. Let's delve into this. First thing I want to share with you with respect to that is this. Maybe you've heard of it and maybe you haven't. It's called replacement theory, replacement theory. There is a theory right now that is pushed by white supremacists and even has found its way in normative thinking and discussions. You have some politicians that will not even um, refute it. 
they sidestep it. Some even embrace it with their language. Replacement theory has to do, if you recall doing uh, Charlottesville when uh, the Nazis were marching um, during uh, about four years ago, <clears throat> we're marching in Charlottesville and they were saying Jews will not replace us, if you recall that. This replacement theory is that Europeans, um, many, uh, or this theory, I should not say many, this theory says from a European point of view that people of color, um, Jews, African-Americans, so on and so forth, uh, are proliferating in their um, population and therefore they will replace uh, European Americans and therefore down goes civilization. That's in short what that replacement theory is. Well, I can't uh, get past something when people are talking about my very existence replaces them. That's the first thing. The second thing is this. We oftentimes hear, just get over it. Just get over it. Move on. And uh, why should African-Americans, uh, the children of slaves, get over something? Why should we just forget it? That lets people off the hook. We never ask, and I'm not comparing our um, misery and our slave enslavement to Jews during the Holocaust. That was absolutely six, seven million Jews. That was absolutely abhorrent, should have never happened. And we should never, ever forget it. Never. But if we never ask uh, Jewish Americans to forget uh, the Holocaust, and they should always put it in our face to say, never forget it, the entire world, because the world looked the other way as we try to eliminate a whole race of people through Nazis. Why would you ever ask us to forget about our enslavement? Why? What, what's the deal? To let you off the hook? Replacement theory, get over it, not so much. Here's the third thing I want to share with you. Repentance requires recognition Recognition requires restitution, and restitution requires reparation. Let me walk through that again. Don't expect someone to ever accept an apology that has never been given in a very formal and Judeo-Christian way, because repentance requires that you don't do it again, that you turn from that way, but first, you got to recognize that way was not right in a formal way. And recognition requires restitution. And restitution requires reparations. So I can't get past something that you won't even recognize in a formal way. So, oh yeah, apology accepted when apology is asked for in the right way. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Your takeaway is this. The answer, I think, to some of these issues, not all, is critical race theory. For every theory that is raised, you need to have a, another theory that counters that thought. So if you want to replace mint theory, talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. But also, we got to counter with a critical race theory. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace, share the manna, don't keep it to yourself. Help me go against the algorithms of Facebook uh, that would not want this word out. Share the manna, don't keep it to yourself. I got more tomorrow when we talk about the whole new reconstruction. God bless you. The Lord face shine upon you, give you peace. Share the man and don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.